All right, so I know by now that y'all hate when I do this kind of bait and switch thing. Obviously, you saw the thumbnail and you saw that it's uh, Corinne Hawthorne and Beyonce. Clearly, I am not either one of those ladies. I am not. I am Lakeitha Bobbish, a voice for We The People, who is uh, a little tired from what all went on today with YouTube. So... In the video, I am talking and exposing what is going on in the Christian music industry. As you can see in the description of the video, you can go ahead and look at that down there in YouTube. So uh, today, when I went ahead, I uploaded it to my channel this morning. Um, a few hours later, uh, when I went back to check on it, it said it, there was copyright checks and things like that. And at first it said it wasn't going to impact um, my video but then 15 minutes later it changed and i got a message also in my email basically what had happened was copyright stuff was going on they said that i was in violation of copyrights and they showed me uh, what part of my video uh supposedly had a copyright violation so the part that is really getting to me and what we argued back and forth about was the fact that no i was not in violation i did not do what they said that i did and when i didn't comply right away they also emailed me back and said that because of uh this violation and the other warnings that they had given me that they were likely or they could actually take down my entire channel now what is so crazy is that when I look on my analytics, the past 30 days, I have had the most growth on my channel on YouTube. Um, so is this all by coincidence? I really have to say I don't think so. I really don't. So there are times where I get some flags here and there, like the uh, video that I did with Peyton McNabb um, talking about men in sports. Um, things like that. Um, I got flagged on another video with regard to something. Um, I was talking about abortion. Uh, and there was another video I was talking about COVID. So, <laughs> you know, I, so for whatever reason today was the day that they wanted to come and say, hey, so you're in violation, even though you're not. So here's what you can do. Okay. You can go ahead and cut out the entire part that we're telling you to cut out and then post your video or you know you can't play your video at all so at first i was like okay you know let me look at some youtube videos and find out what it is exactly that they're going to do to my video what they want to do is they want to take out and trim a whole section of my video and then they want me to be able to post it that way but when i post it i can't see for myself what the video looks like now guys i know that you see me in the studio in my videos and my producer does a bang up job with the editing and with all the words that he puts in not only that but several hours also go into making scripts and to putting together uh, the content that i want to put together i don't just come on the same day and sit down and now here we no no I do not you know so work actually goes into what i am doing and it's not that i'm a perfectionist but at the same time i i put in the work okay to make sure that it looks good it looks crisp and clean and my producer isaiah he he puts it on lock and he does a bang up job every single time for me so you know i'm not i'm not trying to come and have you put your own spin on what i'm doing and not allow me to see what it is that y'all are doing to my content and i'm gonna go ahead and post it no you're not doing it so uh the other issue is this okay and this is what we went back and forth about through several emails i'm sorry guys my hair is sticking out right there and it's bothering me okay so back to it um we'll went back forth and about okay so uh you can go ahead and you can look down in the description and you can see the videos that i put within my video so when i'm going to post a video on youtube i have to go through certain amounts of steps and they ask me various questions they check through my video they actually also, they don't tell you this, but I had to watch some YouTube videos about this with other contenters, content makers, excuse me. 
what they do is they also listen to what you say. So they have AI who goes ahead and listens to what you say in your video. That's why it takes a little time for them to upload it because they have to transcribe it back to AI so AI can listen to what you're saying and they can transcribe it so that they have the the, the, the captions if you put the captions on there and stuff like that. So, um, okay. So basically what happened was I went ahead and I had a reaction video to what went on with um, Maverick City and Quavo at the Grammys last year. So they said that this portion of my video was in violation because what I used, the portion of the video that I used, was licensed to the Grammys. And it, it was a copyright violation that I did. That makes no sense. Because if you look down in the description, you will see I did not tag the Grammys in that. Why? Because it's not the Grammys video. It's Quavo's video. I took Quavo's video and put Quavo's video in my video. I did not take the Grammys video and put it in my video. So if Quavo was allowed to put that on his YouTube page, that means that he went through all the copyright stuff that I had to go through in order for him to post it on his video. And that's exactly what I did. So for YouTube to argue with me and say, no, it, it's licensed to grant to the Grammys and you, you're not allowed to use it, you're in violation. So if you use that, we're going to take down your YouTube channel because we ha we've had this slap you on the hand to so many times. So... Suffice to say, again, if you go back down into uh, the description, you will also see that I took a video with Kirk Cameron. I didn't use Kirk Cameron's video, though. Where did I get that video from? I got that video from BET, the BET Awards. I took that video literally from BET's channel. But did they challenge me on BET stuff with Kirk Cameron? No, they did not. No, they didn't. Excuse me, not Kirk Cameron, Kirk Franklin, my bad. Kirk Cameron, I love you, brother. Do an awesome job out there. Anyhow, so, uh, Kirk Franklin, uh, literally, I took that from the BET's channel. I didn't take it from his channel. You see what I'm trying to say? So I argued this with them, and I said, I, you know, this is, not, this is not right. But again, so they had the final word and said, cut it out of your video, and then you can post it. I, you know, <laughs> guys... It's really time to begin to fight back on uh, big tech. I'm so done and I'm so tired of them trying to fight us on every single little thing that we're trying to do. Whether it's for Christ, the stuff that I'm speaking about through the Bible and for Jesus, or whether it's the truth with regard to our rights and our freedoms, our parental rights, they're going to try to cut me down with whatever I am doing, especially now that I'm gaining traction, which is so wild. The last 30 days, I have had the most growth in the last year that I've been doing this. So there is no coincidence to me that right now this is what they're trying to do. So I need y'all to do me a favor, okay? And that's one reason why I'm wearing my my make us, <laughs> like make us do it uh, shirt today. So hopefully Graham Allen can go ahead. I'm giving him a plug right here for his 912 uh, stuff. So you can go ahead to my Rumble channel at this point, guys, and you can see the entire video. I am not posting my video all cut up to pieces the way that you do honestly put it on here and allowing them to dictate to me what I can post at my content. No, you're not going to do it. Not after the hard work that I put in, not after all the prayer that goes into it, and all the studying that goes into it, and the work that's done to be edited, and the stuff that we go on in the studio. No. No. I refuse. So, we need to take back our content, guys. We need to be able to have our own rights and freedoms of speech, okay? Because I, again, you can look down in the description... No, nowhere will you see the Grammys channel down there, but you see BET's channel, and they did not challenge me on BET's channel. They challenged me on the Grammys. Yeah. Yep. And we know what that's all about, don't we? So, guys, suffice to say, obviously, I took enough of your time with this rant. I apologize again for the bait and switch that I did with the thumbnail, but y'all deserve to know what went on. And please go ahead to my Rumble channel so you can see the entire video. You can see all the reactions that I did and the truth of what is really going on in the Christian music industry. 
So guys, please do me that favor. Go ahead and click on over to my Rumble channel and you can go ahead and see the entirety of the video. Guys, we are in a war every day. You have to understand at that in this point. You know, we are in a war. It is a spiritual battle. I, and it's so crazy. I just talked last night. You can ask my friends. I just talked last night at a meeting about how we are going to continue to go through trials and tribulations and testing in this time because of what the atmosphere is going on in the atmosphere. You know, look what's going on overseas all around us. Can we believe anything that's even being said? What's going on overseas when they're not telling us what's going on on our own shores? Okay, so guys, please, I implore you continue to be in prayer. Spiritual warfare is real. The spiritual realm is real. I will tell you that all the time. There's no coincidence, guys, that I'm gaining all this traction. All of a sudden, they want to shut down my video and chop it up to pieces. Okay, so I love you all. Please go ahead and give my Rumble channel some love over there so you can see the entire video of what we did regarding the Christian music industry. So I will see you guys again next week with another episode. Blessings and best regards. Look at the Bobbish. A voice for truth. In Jesus' name. Bye.